formalizing the goal for this committee, um, I have a suggestion. So we're we're definitely referendum focus, and right now, and almost at the point where it's going to get Department of Education approval. After October, our goal is to educate mm -hmm. our community mm -hmm. and pass a referendum. Right. But I, I feel like we could add a little bit more to this goal is that till that referendum passes and you know work on that plan starts, we have to continually focus on addressing uh, through capital projects right. the needs of our students. Right. And Staff I, we're already doing it, mm -hmm. but I think we just need to make it a Official. Yeah, just official mm -hmm. on the paper. This is yeah. our goal that this board will always, you know, look at um, stopgap. Mm -hmm. I would use the word. It's the word stopgap. We use um, <laughs> so we have permanent solutions to right. overcrowding to make our you know classroom environment um, set up for student success. Yeah, address address facility needs through yeah. stopgap projects. Yeah. It's just just making it, you know, God forbid April mm -hmm. 2023 doesn't go our way. Mm -hmm. We we have a broader goal, which is to continue oh, addressing yeah. the overcrowding needs um, in whichever way we are able to do. I agree. And we're not just walking away and saying, all right, well, you know, yeah, we're, we're going to yeah. pass. No, we're just going to cave in there. We <laughs> like the administration has tried to do so far. Yeah, we're the ten years overdue for you know more space, but we've still been working through it. And I think I think that's a great point. And I think so to state that goal, of course, the referendum is is, is first, and then also the things that are already in the works. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the working with the township and coming up with plans because, like as far as I said, we need to keep moving forward. So even if if the referendum it fails and, and I hope it doesn't that at least we have other other plans in the works to get those things done. Yep. Yeah. I offer some input on that. Of course. Sure. So I know growth and stopgap is, is a big thing, but as I mentioned before, and I, it's important that you kind of grasp this. Whenever we focus on stopgap and growth, we're not focusing on infrastructure and the infrastructure is starting to break down. Yes, we have serious, significant needs. These are all costly things. None of the stuff that we do is cheap. Um, if your goal is strictly stopgap this year, you know, Dr. Layman has talked about and Shanley about um, construction at Oak Tree mm -hmm. interior classrooms, which we've done in the past. Uh, as you know, this summer we did projects here, middle school, Barkley Brook. That is money that is being taken away from the infrastructure, and we're starting to feel the effects of not addressing the infrastructure with that chillers, HVAC mm -hmm. equipment that is well beyond expected lives. Uh, we're fortunate that we got some of those grants, which is going to help a lot, yes. but there are still other things that need to be addressed. You know, as we talked, the middle school referendum takes care of the addition. It does not take care of the, the existing building. So, as you Do know, we, we made an award and the, under contract, we're doing the process for the the Arts Center HVAC equipment, um, but we did not accept the bid for the boilers at the middle school. You know, there's a million six. Uh, that's a big hit out of the operating budget. Um, we have other needs. So if I could just stress that infrastructure, it's a tough call. Uh, Stopgap versus infrastructure, but it's becoming that the scale is, mm -hmm. it's becoming weighted heavily that the infrastructure is not being addressed. and. Uh, and we're starting to deal with just operational problems on a daily basis with you know, schools. Like adequate air conditioning. Yeah, it's, ridiculous. You know, humid days we had this week were oh, very challenging four. because of you know condensation. Mm -hmm. The air conditioning is not adequate. Uh, so, to that point, when you when you establish the goals, keep in mind also specifically with stopgap projects and some of these others. You know, the infrastructure things that I talked about. With what we're seeing in the global environment right now with uh, supply chain issues where we're being quoted 44 to 54 weeks for a piece of equipment that should have taken 12 to 16 weeks so we need to kind of make decisions now for what you plan for next year because how long it takes to get this stuff uh, so if your goal is if you have a stated goal our goal is to add classrooms you know, four classrooms okay we need to start that process now so we can get our njdoe applications in You've seen how long it took 
uh, to get through this process with these projects, which we're not fully through yet uh, because the DOE is it's not in a good place right now. So that said, the sooner you make decisions on what you're prioritizing, we can start the process so that we're not handcuffed next year with either equipment that we can't get or projects that can't be started because they haven't gone through the DOE process. Cool. 